Hey fam, how's it going? It's another evening, another video. This time I want to talk about presets. Presets are cool. MetaSound presets. So the idea behind MetaSound presets is that, hey, you are creating this MetaSound and it's beautiful and the way that it works actually could work for a whole bunch of different types of sounds. It's exactly like how in your DAW you have say, virtual effects or virtual instruments. And um, you just, your presets are literally just the same thing, but you've just changed some of the information, some of the parameter data, right? Like, uh, like on a synthesizer, maybe one preset has a short attack and a long decay and a long release. And maybe another preset has a long attack and a very long release and a short delay or something like that, right? So this is all about design and data-driven design, and you do a lot of it in games. So um, what I want to talk about is just creating a preset. So here I have um, a bunch of fauna variations, or I've got some crickets, little cricket one-shots. I have um, <clears throat> some grasshopper one-shots, um, a hawk, sparrow, and a swallow, a bunch of one shots here. Cool. So um, <clears throat> now what we want is to create uh, a, a meta sound that maybe randomly selects them, maybe with some uh, slight uh, variation, right? So let's say, let's here's our, uh, actually, let me uh, open up an Otro content browser. And I'm going to just dock this on the bottom here. And that way I can keep my um, sound waves over on the left side. And I can go on audio, meta sounds. And then um, maybe this one I'll do uh, columns view. So <clears throat> let's add a meta sound source. Boop, boop, boop. And we'll call this, uh, it's a sound effect. Um, and we'll just call it our fauna. Uh, meta sound, <laughs> we'll keep it simple. <laughs> I was gonna do like fauna selector or something like that. I don't, I don't like that. So, um, and basically what this will do is uh, Let's make this um, stereo. So this will basically act as a, almost like a template uh, for our, um, for the way that we wanna, the uh, way we want to play fauna sounds and fauna variations, right? So <clears throat> let's get a wave player. This is gonna be pretty simple. We know this is a one-shot meta sound, so let's implement the one-shot interface, and that will give us the unfinished um, output, which we need to set. So uh, we know that when this, I, I want this to be finished when this is done playing its wave. Doot, do, 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 do. And then um, I know that we're going to want an array so the uh, all of the parameters that you're able to set on your preset are going to be your inputs. So we're going to need our our variations, and this is going to be a wave asset array. And um, and if we want, we can we can. Um, uh, uh, maybe put some in as like uh, to help us uh, d decide um, uh, let's actually let's grab let's grab these sparrow ones so this will help us uh, design the uh, initial template and we know that we want to um, get uh, variants and then we're going to want to select a random variation. And 
we also know that we're going to want to maybe add some uh, bit shifting. So we want maybe randomize this uh, float value. So this um, <clears throat> this pitch shift, as we can see on the tooltip, says it's in semitones, right? So that's a musical uh, amount. And um, what we can do is actually convert this um, frequency multiplier to semitones. So uh, this will let us convert um, a uh, multiplier value into semitones so that it, that we will basically uh, interface nicely here and I can just you know do like half for half speed or or uh, two for twice you know twice as fast and now our range maybe is going to be something like 0 0.9 and 1.5 one five maybe right because we want it to sound natural and when it's successfully selected that um, that value we then want it to uh, we'll do this we don't have reroute nodes yet cool and then let's just um, take a listen and hear how, how it sounds They're all very similar. Okay, um, and then uh, what we can do is actually, if we feel like this might be contentious, we can say, add this. So we'll say min, min pitch. And then we can add this to our graph input and we'll call it uh, max pitch. And um, let me just do actually double check. So here it's given our default values as the values that I put in, which is great. Um, and so now what we'll want to do is we'll want to create presets for all of our different fauna. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to say create meta sound source preset. And so. Um, you know, you decide how you want to set up this, uh, your naming scheme. Um, maybe we'll call this the cricket preset. And um, essentially, uh, you'll notice that it create it shows you this graph. You can't edit it. That's fine. We're going to ignore it. In the future, it won't even show you this graph. In the future, it'll just show you the parameters or maybe even a fancy UI. So, um, in, in this case, we're going to override the variance. We want our crickets in here. So we're going to grab our crickets. Boop. And then um, we want to override the max and min pitch. And probably, as my, exper my experience with crickets, is they have a much tighter, tighter range. Although, it's not bad. So I think what I'll do is just uh, bring this up a little bit, 9.5, and then the mi the max pitch maybe just 1.1. Uh, so just tightening up the the uh, random range there, and then um, create another preset, and this will be our grasshopper preset. You know, so now, as you can see, I'm no longer building graphs. I'm, I'm just, you know, because I've created a graph that functions the way that I want it to function. And then we can listen to this and audition and see if those ranges are okay. Try again. That sounds good. That sounds good. In fact, I think we could probably go even wider. So I'm going to actually open it up a little bit. 1.25 and then we'll go to maybe like 0 0.85 something like that i think we could get away with a little bit more because it's largely non-tonal so it's really just uh, giving us different sizes 
which is kind of cool. Okay, and then um, we'll grab another preset. So I'm just basing these off all off the same one, and I just wanted to keep uh, the naming scheme consistent so I know where it comes from. But you know, if you ever forget, you can actually just double click on this and it'll just take you right to the original. And you, what's, what's awesome is that uh, at this stage, I could edit this original and the presets would adopt new functionality. So that's, that's kind of the power there, right? So let's see, what this, what is this gonna be? This is our Hawk. So let's get our Hawk variants, variations. Now these are all very, very similar. That actually, it's not bad, the range, the pitch range. So I think I'll keep it for this, this case. Um, although the, I'm not super happy about the tail on that Hawk. But um, let's keep going. I had a sparrow and a swallow. Okay. Uh, and the variations are here. Oh, these are the variations, that's funny. You know what, I'm gonna put them in anyway. That way if the original ever gets changed, it, it will still override the inherited values. Um, and I'll probably do that same thing actually, just override the inherited values there anyway, just so that this one sticks, even though I'm not changing them. And then the one last one was, oops, the swallow preset. Okay, variations, override, trash, and then these have a lot more variety in them. Now these ones I suspect uh, are gonna be less resilient to dramatic pitch shifts. So let's just... It's not bad. Some of the lower ones sound a little bit dull. They could be fine. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think um, uh, I think I'm just gonna just bring it in a little bit, just a touch, kind of like I did that other one, just a little bit. Okay, and then uh, we're done. Look at that, and we have um, created you know m multiple presets. Um, all all of these ver these variations uh, of the uh, same graph essentially, right? So you know, and this think about um, you know, expand it. This is a very simple meta sound graph, but it's one that you're going to use a whole lot. Like this is a very common. You know, you got to select random uh, variation and you want some control over the pitch shifting, something like that, right? Um, so, but imagine something more complex. Let's say you've created a complete synth voice, right? Like it has multiple oscillators and it has a filter and it has a routing architecture and you have multiple envelopes and, and maybe LFOs that are, that are assigned and you are then creating a whole bunch of inputs and you could create, you know, I mean, a synthesizer, right? A synthesizer voice, like a, think of a monosynth, could take up, you know, could have a d like a couple dozen parameter inputs, right? And then you just make those all inputs. And then you create presets of that same graph architecture, that same graph topology. And then each of your preset is a different sound design. Right, but all you're changing are the input parameters. Um, so that's that's kind of the power of presets. Uh, I know that um, Aaron made like a really short video and posted on Discord, but I wanted to sort of expand it and and just sort of really show you the practical applications 
of using presets. Um, so this is, I know a lot of people have been trying to like do this sort of thing, but with like blueprints, this makes it a whole lot easier. All right, y'all have a good night.